Hello, everybody. Good morning and welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. This is just going to be a quick video today because we've had quite a morning trying to get our, our audio set up. But, you know, it it is what it is, Jay. And we get to kind of be more uh, flexible because we work for ourselves. And that's kind Absolutely. of what we're going to be talking about. How are you doing this morning, Jay? I'm good. I'm good. And you know what it is there. And here we are. We, we were actually scheduled to record about a half hour ago and just technical stuff, but nothing was like like the concept of time wasn't so much of a factor you know what i mean right. it's it's like uh it is there it's a, it's it's real cool to there to be have the privilege to work for yourself so we want to kind of beat that drum for everybody really and it'll, hopefully it instills in your minds absolutely absolutely and you've got you know we've been talking about this a lot jay and i see so many people commenting and i feel like people are very interested in making this switch and this change and as we were talking before we started i hit record you know, I was another thing that I've said so many, so many, so many times, and I, I just can't reiterate working for yourself in this respect that work becomes fun when you're doing it for yourself. It's enjoyable, even the hard stuff, even, you know, for me, like when I edit videos, that's probably the most labor intensive thing I do for, for YouTube or Gnostic TV or whatever, but it's also enjoyable because it's my creation. It's not a creation for somebody else. It's for me. And it's, it's something I can be proud of. And, um, and so that kind of, you know, as people comment, I see that people, I think we have, again, this misunderstanding where work has to be work. It has to be something unenjoyable. And that's just, that's not true, is it? No, not at all. You know, it's interesting. It's it's uh, it's people that are waking up, finding their voice or finding their divinity or finding their manifestation. They're finding their abundance. They're finding it all. But you have to start. And so one of the reasons you and I have been out here for, oh, gosh, a couple of months now really talking about the benefit of having your own show is because, well, that's how you find your voice. You've got to speak to somebody or something, right? So you might as well speak to an audience. So we're, we're seeing excitement you know we talked about like a group Bryce that you and I work with and and there's there I mean we're we're in communication with them they're uh creating some amazing stuff now they're finding their 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 levels of confidence is going through the roof look we're we're we know that so many people are like you you, they, you teeter totter on like whether we should do something or whether we shouldn't or what's that going to look like if I don't but it's time to really make a decision to do to start if you're if it's on your radar I mean I believe because you know, people are still talking about going without or I don't have enough for this. Uh, we're saying this, if you're having those kind of conversations, then you shouldn't be having those kind of conversations. You know, right. then step up is what we're saying. <laughs> really step up and let the world hear your voice, because once the world can hear your voice, what you're going to find out is that your soul tribe, if you want, will 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 start to notice you. They'll start to draw to you. There in turns now you start to get into a business. You start things start to happen in your life. You no longer start to worry about things called money because you start to look at it very differently right. because you're working in a very different rhythm and a very different vibration with the universe. And you know for people that really can and are still in their working or what's called accumulation phases. They're trying to find more abundance in their life. They're trying to find their spirit, Bryce. You know what I mean? They're just trying to find out their purpose. This is the way to do it. I mean, we've been given a gift of this, these airwaves, this technology, these microphones, these computers to be able to do this, to find our gift, you know, right. no longer take sitting under a tree for. Oh, oh absolutely. <laughs> just waiting for the apple to fall on you to, 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 start to discover gravity. Yeah, no, it's, um, as you're saying that, Jay, I think I, I want to reiterate, and this might seem like common sense, but I, I just want for people to think about this. When you start a YouTube channel, when you start whatever, a podcast, whatever you do, where you're starting is typically not where you're going to end. And where you're going to end is limitless. Like half of the stuff that's happened to me since I've been on YouTube, I never expected to happen. But you're putting yourself out there. I'll give you a really good example. Every at night when we're starting to wind down, we either watch true crime or paranormal shows. And if you're like me and you like paranormal shows, you know a lot of the ghost hunting shows are kind of boring because they never really see anything. Well, my boyfriend found a paranormal show on one of these platforms. I can't remember Amazon, something like that, that he said looked pretty good and got some really good reviews. And I was kind of weary because, you know, again, they never really see anything. Um, and he turned it on and I was like, oh, my God, I, I know those guys. I know those guys. They used to have a YouTube channel. And I was like, they, they they had a YouTube channel for years and they're hysterical. That's the that's I can't remember the name of their YouTube show. But basically what happened is that these two guys created a YouTube channel based on 
they're two friends. One believes in ghosts, the other doesn't. And the banter they have when they're on these expedi expeditions is hysterical because they're really friends. And they were just doing it on YouTube. Well, their YouTube channel got so popular that now they are supported by a major network that is writing them huge checks and have a huge production company. I guarantee you, Jay, when they started that YouTube channel, they never thought that's what, where they were going to end up. Well, I mean, let's take a look at it from businesses, Bryce. I mean, you take a look at psychic spiritual guides, you take a look at, um, you know, life coaches uh, or whatever, you know, people that are selling products. The ones that are successful in those trades have a particular show. The ones that aren't do not have a particular show. So I'll give you an example. I got, um, you know, we got the spiritually raw brand, right? So we interview a lot of spiritual guides. You talk to some of these psychics, astrologers, you can't get an appointment with them anymore for months right. Even sometimes like a year out because of their show. They branded themselves as a credible source of information. You talk about people in the network, and I want to really kind of really drive this one home, if I may, Bryce, to who this is a who this is important for. If you're a life coach, right? You're telling people, or you're someone who says, Well, let me teach you how to do this, let me teach you how to do this. What's gonna make you different? Okay, what is making you different than the other gazillion uh, life coaches out there or or healers or whatever? It's your show. It's your personality. It's your divinity that comes out. You posting an ad saying, okay, well, listen, I got a special this month. It's Thanksgiving and you can do this. That's not going to draw people to you. Let's be realistic. People want to draw to your energy. I know like, you know, you and I like, you know, talking about people in direct selling, same thing like network marketing or other types of businesses like that. There you're selling a product. Well, you're one of thousands of people selling the same damn product. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you can't you can't hold up the same product and the same product like everybody else does. I mean, who do they buy from? Right? Right. So you have to think in terms today of the show. Yes, it's going to give you the most important thing we find. It's going to give you your voice. It's going to connect you to your divinity. But from a very pragmatic, third dimensional way of looking at life, it's going to give you what we call a competitive edge. OK, yeah. it's gonna make you stand out where the other people all of a sudden you're not amongst a sea of all these different people hitting the same drum. So everybody gets confused and they don't know where to go to because I can guarantee you this. If you're selling a product, if you're selling a session, if you're selling the these, these people, even though they know you and you don't have a show, they're buying from people like Bryce and myself. OK. Right. Because yeah. we do have that. We have positioned ourselves as a credible source of information. So I want you re really people to think about that. Yeah, you know, yeah, you may have a show, but you may have a business that isn't doing it. And if you if and what I mean by that is if your business isn't flourishing right now, my personal belief is you're out of alignment with the universe. And that happens to all of us. So don't feel bad. But what I am saying to you is this show will quickly get you in alignment with the universe and sometimes in my this is my belief sometimes when that that disalignment happens it's the universe trying to nudge you in a new in a, in a different direction and you're right jay you know i'm thinking about bobby who is one of our um students who's got a great con they all have great concepts but what what and i don't want to give away what her channel is going to be but what she's doing essentially is things that a lot of people do there's a lot of businesses but the way she's doing it and the fact that she's setting up a channel is going to allow people to get to know her as a person as well right. and see how she and so that's going to give her as you said that competitive edge now right. again so so when we think about having a business every single business in the world i don't care what you're doing you have to have marketing there has to be marketing when i was a little kid it was the yellow pages it was billboards it was flyers commercials but now are now that is shifting and changing and most people do have a marketing budget but if you youtube is free right, right. youtube is free and and you can put yourself out there and you're right there's so many people i know that um started a channel around the time we did and now their businesses are completely booked up um because I, i've experienced that with my my yoga classes i have people come in that would have never known about the studio if they had not seen me on YouTube, right. right? And so, and and my channel isn't even specifically about yoga, but it's because you develop that that uh, rapport with 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 your viewers. And so, and the, the thing too, Jay, speaking from a third a three D matrix issue, which rightly so is stressful for people about money, money. Well, I'm going to go back to I think I told the story about my my aunt who does real estate and her clients that was very wealthy because he had a very successful YouTube channel where he shows people how to clean oriental rugs. 
And she knew because the, the real estate he was buying just off of this. Well, when you're on YouTube or any other platform, even though it's a, pre, a, a free platform, and we go over this with our with our students, you now have now opened yourself up to multiple um, sources of income, right? So if you have a rug cleaning company and you're not on YouTube, that's your source of income. You put yourself on YouTube and start showing people things. All of a sudden, you're looking at sponsorships, um, AdSense. Um, you're looking at Patreon. You're, there's so many different ways that you are now opening up yourself to be able to support your business. Where without, that's why I, even though we know YouTube is a little corrupt, the 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 idea of the platform is such a fantastic idea because you become your own pr producer, you become your own marketing director, and it's just it's just it's endless the amount of possibilities that will open for you if you take that chance on yourself. You know, if 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 you have dreams and you and you think about these dreams often, and you think about, oh, I wish I could, or I'd like to, or what would it be like to be like that, or what would it do that? We're here to share with you these things are real. They're they're able to be manifested in your life. You know, mm -hmm. and there's techniques of manifestation. See, that's the thing that you know you and I are here out to help people with is the the art of manifestation, the techniques and how to manifest to think things, and you know, be able to not only just think them and stick them on a board. But to pull it out and start to take action on it, and and this is where having these kind of shows like this, like like so, let's say you envision uh, a place you want to live, you may start doing a show around those topics, and you start talking about it. You are now have connected with your universe, and next thing you know, you're living in that place. You know what I mean? One hundred percent. You know what I mean? You start doing these things, so you you see the thing about. You know, and I know a lot of people because we talk about them all day and, and God bless them all or whatever you believe in, bless you, is <laughs> is that you just, you know, you have your vision board, but you got to do more than stare at it. Right. You, know, you have to actually be in it. You know what I mean? So if you want to be in an island or you want to have abundance, you know, you want to do this. Like if you want to have money in your life, then you want then imagine a conversation. I can assure you this. Imagine your show just consisted of talking to people who are creating abundance and doing well with their abundance. That's going to rub off on you. That's yeah. going to be your energy. That's going to start breaking through in your auric field. And next thing you know, that's the things. Those opportunities are going to align with you. Those people that are making money are going to be like, hey, you know, I like your style. I like what you're doing. I mean, this is how these things go. Yeah. But you have to be able to connect with people and some sort of thing. And and, and and this is this is the outlet to do it. So, you know, look, everybody watching this, I hope you take it seriously. But if you again, if you're somewhat of an entrepreneur and you're trying to promote your business on the Internet or social media and you're like, look at me, look at me, one of eight billion people that are saying, look at me, look at me. You know, you're only wasting your time and you're getting frustrated. You're going to get frustrated with it and you know who you are. Define who you are before someone else defines you is, is the reality. Absolutely. Of and that's, as you're saying that, Jay, I just like, uh, even my own story with YouTube, like I never thought I was an authorized Ashtanga teacher, like my whole life before the lockdown, my whole life, I never considered having a channel. I was a yoga teacher. I was going back and forth between India. I was teaching Eastern philosophy. That was that. But I also in my own personal life enjoyed the stories, like the folklore, the legends, the, and, and when lockdown happened, it forced me to to try to do something. I could have just sat around and waited in my misery as my as businesses closed down. But I thought, you know what? Now's a good opportunity to explore this other side of myself that I love so much that I originally went to school for, and I created Esoteric Atlanta. I had no idea what was going to unfold. I just knew this is what I love to do, and I was going to do it. And now I'm I'm Jay. I'm so honored and privileged to be on Gnostic TV now where that has rolled in for me. And, and it's great because someone like me, I can do these deep, deep, deep dives that are exclusive for Gnostic where I don't have to worry about scent, but that's an opportunity that was granted because I, Jay, if I had never said, if I'd never opened up a YouTube channel, I wouldn't be sitting with you right now. I wouldn't right. have met these awesome people that are watching us right now. I've gotten to really know a lot of my subscribers and I consider them friends now. And that's, it's because you know, so you think about that if, if you are hesitant right now, but you really want to do it, but you're hesitant, think about all the opportunities that are going to, if you just take that one step, that one step, and you're going to evolve and change. You don't have to have all the answers on the first video that you make. You're going to evolve and change. And Jay, you have a media academy that will help people. Um, and we put, we, I always have that down in the description box, guys, that will help you. These little questions you may have are just support and guidance that you can click on. And they're little tiny videos that can kind of help you um, 
give you more insight into places where you might feel a little bit confused or, or afraid or just want more information. Is there any more you want to say about that, Jay? Yeah, totally. Thanks for that, Bryce. And, uh, it's, uh, and, and we're so awesomely grateful that your energy is on Gnostic because that is the world it needs to be. It's ancient wisdoms reimagined. I mean, someone like yourself that can help us reimagine the way we need to live now because we didn't get a... The playbooks back then are not relevant now. It is, right. You know what I mean? We need we need we need teachers there. But as far as the academy, attract everyone academy, that's going to teach you the mindset. So it's really a lot about mindset and really about getting you in that place. So you don't like, all right, well, I got to get this and 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 I got to get all my ducks in a row. Next thing you know, the ducks have gone. Okay, <laughs> so there's no ducks left. And and if you can. It just gets you to go. It gets you in a mindset of really being with your universe right now. So, you know, those links will be in the description below. Like we've always done in the past, what I'd like to do, Bryce, is um, for those that are watching, is like we did, like we've done with you see and everything else. I feel like it's a better experience for people. Feel free to reach out and text me for real. Yeah. I'll set up a time with you. Feel free if you want to kind of talk through it a little bit, really, because I know I get it. It's a, uh, you know, it's not just always point and click for some people, but sometimes it's just a matter of are there some things that are there for you, maybe quote unquote, that are like maybe kind of intimidating for you. I might be able to hear, help clear up and it may not even be an issue. I don't know. We'll know when we talk. Right. Absolutely. So I just encourage you to just text me. We'll spend about 10, 15 minutes together. Let me know what you're thinking. And I'll help you at least guide you in the right direction and, you know, just kind of get you in your rhythm. You know what I mean? And and I'll give you an access to when you text me to some to, to um, free ebooks, too, which is uh, how to, you know, the universal laws, how to attract abundance, really how to get that. So just, you know, let's talk through it. I mean, we're here to help. You know what I mean? Because we know when we can help give you a hand, it just helps propel us. You'll do it for someone. It's just that's life. You know? Maybe that's the whole where we where we go one we go all. Maybe that's so maybe, that's, maybe that. that's it, right? Like, yeah. and, and I I agree I I agree with you, Jane. That's one thing I really appreciate about you in April is that you seriously it's it's not about feeding the pockets of one person, but if one person gets fed, everyone gets fed, and that's the beautiful thing about um the businesses that you guys have set up. I, I think our little corner of the internet we're pretty good about cross pollinating with each other and trying to generally help each other get get each other out there. And so, and if you're one of those people that Feel like, it feels like you need that helping hand just reach out the text Bryce media to 321-216-8047 again that's always in the description box and that's jay's number and um and yeah to help him and i just want to put this out there too for anybody we were all we all get scared when i started my channel i was petrified like you're that's that is that is a reality that's just going to be with you and you're but use that friction to go forward anyway you know so don't let your own fears hold you back my teacher in India will often say, why fearing, why fearing? And, and it's, it's, you know, I love it. The adding the ING, why, why fearing? Um, it's my favorite, you know, and, and fear is just false evidence appearing real. And so have, co have confidence in yourself, but understand that it's always going to be a learning process. And as you evolve, I know for me, Jay, as I've evolved on YouTube over the almost four years now, I've had to, I, I myself as a human have evolved as well because you grow when you are literally allowing yourself the opportunity to take chances, not only for your business, but also spiritually, you grow and change as well. And so I, you know, my wish for the future is that every single person was doing what they love to do and feeling like they were they were living their best lives possible and um, and really living in their truth and not having to be a slave for a Fortune 500 company that they don't even like. Right. That's no way to live. That's no, no way to be live. here. Yeah. No. And, you know, my wish for people is that they find their spirit. And I can I can share if you if you give this a 30 day run, everybody, and you start kind of getting in this rhythm, you'll notice your vibrations are going to elevate big time. And if you record yourself and document yourself today and then do or whenever you decide to start and then do it 30 days later and then look back at that person, you're going to be really happy with the new person in, that's within you that you got the chance to get acquainted to now. So get ready and get excited to meet this new yeah. version of this saying and i will awesome. say jay before i know you have to hop off soon but i will say so when we ran our course when we first got our students and i sent them an email with a plethora of questions for them to answer in their journal to help them really get in touch with what they wanted to do if you want to add those questions to a, a part of the academy just let me know because i 
you know, it is about you saying that it is about journeying to what you really want, who you really are and what, you know, sometimes we suppress so much, but if you're forced to answer some of these questions in a journal, it will start to pull, pull that out of you. Who were you when you were that four-year-old child? What was it that you loved to do? Were you drawing? Were you like, like going back to that and finding the essence of who you are and then living that not just in your work, but in your life. It's, it, it's a game changer for sure. For sure. It really is. So yeah, Bryce, I mean, just, uh, listen i thank you as always i mean this because this is very healing for us right you know what i mean to get out there and just kind of talk through this because again we feel like we found something that can help people have a better existence now you know yes. what i mean not like the whole slow plan not to read this manual or do this like we, it's all action oriented so again just text me we'll just talk through it everybody for real like we always have and yeah. uh you know, we'll, just, we'll just see if we can work it out you know, for you. Awesome. Well, you guys, any questions you have, ask them down in the comment section below so we have a better idea what we can cover on these little chats to help yep. you in any way possible. Please text Jay. If you're on Gnostic, I, we're shooting this at 11 a.m. on Friday. It's it's a one minute to 11. I know Jay's got 11 o'clock. Yeah. My second video over the moon eyed people just drop. It's exclusively on Gnostic TV. You're not going to get it on YouTube. So that, that should also be on the channel, the commercial. So make sure to check that out. There's a lot of great people over on Gnostic and we really... It was weird to film and not deal with censorship. I'll say that, Jay. I caught myself trying to censor myself. And I was like, oh, I don't have to censor myself. Oh, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> I can say it all. I can say it all here. And no you one's going to shut me down. So yeah. um, so awesome. anyway. All right, Jay. I know you got to hop off. But we'd no, love you're to good. You're good. We'll talk to all of you later. Thanks, Bye, Bryce, for all the great in your world. I appreciate it. Absolutely.